Post Breakup Survival Guide Mastering Staying Away for Healing. In this video, learn effective strategies and essential tips for navigating life after a breakup. Welcome to the SCG Show. This video is officially sponsored by BetterHelp. Start your healing now in the description below. Navigating life after a breakup is challenging, but it's crucial to prioritize your well-being during this period. It's almost ironic though how close friends and family insist us to break up and walk away from our partners so willingly. They say, leave them, walk away ASAP, get out now, you've got to leave. And then when we finally bravely do take that advice on and walk away from that person and relationship, those people who advised us go AWOL. They could be somewhat supportive, but when you're alone on a Saturday night with no plans and feeling sorry for yourself, these people let you down and they might even ghost you. What they're basically implying is the following. You're on your own now. I can't always be there for you. You've got to sort your own life out. Maybe go back to them if you find it hard moving on. The point I'm trying to make here is post a breakup. It's a very lonely, difficult phase of your life initially. People can be more of a hindrance than a help as well. That is why it is better for you to prepare yourself mentally, emotionally and physically for what lies ahead. You can survive this healthily. You will survive this healthily. Eventually, you're going to thrive romantically by moving on and attracting the right person. Now, the reason I've mentioned the people around you is because as influential as they might have been for you initially walking away, they can also push you unwillingly right back into the arms of your ex again if you are not careful. You want to, need to, and must stay away moving forward so you can heal, like I said, so you can move on and find the right partner instead. Here are ways you can master staying away and healing. If you're getting value from this video, please hit the like button and survive walking away with my brand new course. Download it now in the description below. Distance is important. Staying away after walking away encourages that distance because there's no going back. Creating distance also allows for emotional wounds to begin healing. And with that space and time, wounds can and will heal. Distance helps alleviate the anxiety associated with ongoing contact, allowing your mind and heart to ease into a new, more independent solo state. The immense chaos and stress of a toxic relationship creates fear and anxiety in people. Healing in any context requires that peace and quiet, and again, that distance and space. Putting physical and emotional distance empowers you by re-establishing a sense of control over your life. That powerful control over your mind, your thoughts, emotions, your actions, your behaviours, control over your future as well. Now you have a rough idea of the powerful psychological benefits of distance. Let us explore the opposite and the effect it will have on your life and well-being. Suppose you don't allow distance. Maybe you constantly reach out. Always make the effort with them. Firstly, those emotional wounds that run so deep hurt so much, they get cut deeper by further interaction with your ex. Now, post-breakup, they might be even more dangerous and unhinged with their behaviour. Secondly, by literally the first contact, time and seeing them, you'll receive an overwhelming sense of dread, fear and anxiety once again. A very scary and real situation. And lastly, you lose control to the wrong person, willingly once more. It's vital to understand the importance of distance in this context, in staying away after walking away, so you can heal those wounds please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss any of my videos try avoid rebound relationships 
Rushing into something new often means carrying unresolved emotional baggage from the past. This can manifest as trust issues, fears of commitment, lingering feelings for your ex. This can defer having any healthy, happy relationship with somebody new, who's even maybe compatible. Quick rebounds may hinder the opportunity to also reflect on the past. Taking time to understand the dynamics and learning from your mistakes is vital for your personal growth. I'll touch on this learning from experience more in the next point. A rebound relationship might provide temporary distraction, but it doesn't allow for proper healing. Emotional wounds from the previous breakup might resurface, affecting the new relationship stability and the individual's overall well-being. We want our wounds to heal, remember, not be covered in plasters that peel away straight away. I remember speaking to one coaching client of mine in particular, who was in an eight-year relationship. They were engaged to be married, and then they walked away. Their partner was rude, disrespectful, a cheater, and they had no choice but to leave. However, they were unsure how to function in life without that relationship, without living with someone. It was like a shock to the system. I'm afraid of being on my own. I don't know what it's like. I'm so scared. I advise them to take one day at a time and to enjoy their independence and never rebound and rush into something new. They survived and they thrived and enjoyed the space and distance as well. And of course, their healing journey, leading them to eventually attract a new partner the healthiest and most compatible one yet. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. I've personally used BetterHelp and found it to be so effective for turning my life around for the better. BetterHelp is therapy online, which offers weekly sessions via phone, video and live chat. You get matched with the therapist according to where you are, what you're looking for and what you need help with. If it's not a great fit, you can switch therapists easily. Therapy is a great way to take care of ourselves mentally, just like we try to do so physically through diet and exercise. Online therapy could teach you valuable life coping skills and support you amazingly when tough times occur. Click the link below or visit betterhelp.com forward slash SCG show for 10% off your first month of online therapy today. Go ahead and start your healing journey now with BetterHelp. Life experiences, especially failed relationships, are huge lessons we must learn and try to take wisdom from. Let me give you a personal situation as an example. I walked away from a toxic relationship years ago. One of the most difficult, powerful and important decisions of my life. I was unhappy, drained, miserable, but done. As I record this all these years later, I've attracted and maintained a wonderful relationship. With the girlfriend I see a future with, and I've changed and grown so much ever since. What did I learn? Well, several things. The first lesson I learned was that I was really naive back in the day. I knew nothing about toxic people the way I do now, and how dangerous it is having a relationship with such a person. I made it my mission to educate myself immensely on these topics, and to hopefully help and inspire people like yourself when it comes to these relationships and people. The next lesson I learned was how immature I was, which I look back on with embarrassment. I was 29 when I first got into that toxic relationship. I was superficial, childish, and really silly. I knew I needed to grow up and challenge deep-rooted beliefs that held me back and kept me stuck for so long. The next lesson I learned is a very powerful one. One that I've repeated constantly in my videos. You'll never be good enough for the wrong person. So no matter what I did, how hard I tried, what angle I approached that relationship at, what efforts I'd make also, it was never going to be enough. They were wrong for me. I was wrong for them. Hence why I finally walked away and stayed away. Do yourself a favour and take time to reflect on your past relationship with the angle that there were indeed many lessons to be learnt. Dig deep, 
take your time in doing so and take the wisdom from it as well guys please share your thoughts feel free to share your experiences and opinions in the comment section below of course breakups can be such an emotionally tough and difficult lonely experience but then again what's the alternative going back to that wrong person trying your hardest to love the wrong person exposing yourself to more pain hurt betrayal negativity abuse disappointment settling down and getting married to the wrong person deciding willingly to have children with that wrong person getting a mortgage buying a house tying you down further and further again with the wrong person ultimately and eventually waking up one day and realizing you're living with having a family dedicating your life and the rest of your future to the wrong person that's a scary very real thought always remind yourself of that scenario but also instead try and cultivate a more positive mindset an outlook to this situation scenario you're free of them right now you can do whatever you like you can live however wherever you wish you can plan for the future on your terms however if your goal is to move on eventually have faith keep making an effort when you're ready and when you're healed it will happen it can happen i look at my relationship now with pride as i overcame surviving my toxic relationship and break up to get to this point you deserve that ultimate victory that love in the end too you can survive this you can heal you can and will move on